Hello everyone, my name is Debbie. I'm Mum Bear Tree here on Floss Tube and over on Instagram and this is a channel all about cross stitch. Today's episode number 34 is a special whip parade episode and it's the projects I'm going to be starting out with in 2023. Um, it's not all the projects I have but it is 23 of them. I'm part of the Whip Warriors group. Um, it was no new starts and I'm doing the 23 in 23 challenge stream. So I can have 23 projects on the go at any one time. And if I finish something, I can bring in a, a new start or uh, another whip that I already have. Um, so I've picked out 23. I think they're a good cross section of what I like to stitch, which is anything from full coverage to samplers with animals and some cutesy stuff in between. Um, some are recent from this year and some are a little bit older than that and maybe haven't been out for about a year or two um, but they've made the start in line up so let me just get started and we'll talk about maybe each one as we go so we'll start with my full coverage that I'm going to be stitching on the first one is called winter cabin cover image here um, this is a kit by um, dimensions gold and this is my starting point um, I'm about halfway on this one. In fact, these trees right in the middle is the page break. So I'm just over halfway and I've done all the back stitch on that first half already. Um, yeah, this is pretty much full coverage. I think there's very few stitches that aren't full coverage. And I'm using the kit Ada, which is a 16 count grey. And the kit floss too. And this project I'm using as a focus on a finish project in Full Coverage Fanatics. So hopefully this one will be finished this year. Number one. And I have some handy dandy notes to help me out. The second project is Berry Tree. This is a chart by Artisy. And I just started this one this month. Um, that's the first page. Um, the artwork is by Abraham Hunter, charted by Artisay. It is 300 by 198 stitches. It's 18 pages. This is one. And I'm stitching this one over one on 25 count. Um, this is going to be my page a month project. I'm going to try and finish a page every single month. Um, I did that with a hippo this year another artistry chart called Hippo Reflection and I actually finished that and that should be back from the primers any day now so I hopefully we'll get lots of progress on this one and you can see the start of a little bear ear right here already so I'm looking forward to working on this one so yep my third full coverage is Feline Force 2. Um, cover picture here. Now this one is, this is my starting point again, it's another page. Um, I just started this one recently and just finished that page out before I put it down. This is, the artwork is by Sophie Wilkins. I had to get the artist's permission to chart it and actually Kaylee Tentstitch amazingly charted this for me. I don't have those skills. Um, she did a great job. Uh, this is page one out of 72 and it's 564 by 370 stitches. And I'm stitching it two over one tenth stitch on 28 count. And I started this one at the end of November, but I can't wait to get into some of her face and yeah, it's going to be great. And I think with that one, I'm going to try and work across it in rows. My next one is under the flowers and here's where I'm starting from um, this one is by pain free crafts and the artist is marine loop um, this one is 357 by 400 stitches and has 30 pages um, I'm doing this two over one tent stitch on 28 count and this one has not been out for like a long time um, I started doing parking with this one to try it out and I'm not a massive fan of parking. 
Um, so that's why I've got all these threads. And I think that's why I just didn't want to deal with it and pull it out. But I'm going to work all these threads in and go back into my normal method of color completing cross country style by color per page. Um, so I pick the color that's maybe in the top block, work that all in and then pick the next one and just do it that way. But first I have to deal with all these threads that I have parked before I can get back to doing that. But I look forward to working on this one. And with all these full coverages out with the bear and the winter cabin, they're all on my Whipco board. And so for multiple times each for 23 hours. I don't know if that's being optimistic. Um, so my goal is at least a page on all of them. Um, ideally more, which should happen if I'm doing 23 hours is my goal. Um, so hopefully see lots of progress on full coverage this year. Another one that's on the Whipco board is The Raven. It is a chart by Thread Geeks. And here's where I am. Um, I haven't finished out that first page yet. And this one is actually retired. It's by Victoria Francis and it's 288 by 432 stitches. It's 18 pages long and I'm stitching this two over one on 28 count, 10 stitch. But it's a lot of very pale colours in this first page. But this is the start of her head, so I'm looking forward to maybe coming down here and getting some of her face stitched in before I go back and tackle more background. But yeah, finish up that page first is my first goal. This is another old one. Um, this is called Snippet of Lucky. Again, this is another retired chart. And this is where I'm starting from. So this is the last page in this top row. It is by Chart and Creations. The artwork is by Helen Clark. It's 270 by 320 stitches wide and is stitched two over one tenth stitch on 28 count. But yeah, I love this one. His eye, his eye's starting to peek out from his fur there. But yep. Yeah. Again, it's on my whip go board. So hopefully see some progress on that. The next one is actually my biggest full coverage piece and I'll put the picture in here. And it's uh, The Amazing Animal Kingdom by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Uh, this one's actually a restart. Um, I, stitched, I originally started this one on Ada, I think it was an 18 count Ada and it was huge. Before I knew about like smaller counts and how to do two over one, um, the fabric was just too much. To wrangle with and it was the max color version too so i actually restarted this one and got the regular amount of colors even then it's still it's 700 by 535 stitches but i'm stitching this one two over one tenth stitch on 28 count and you can just see the start of the this is going to be a gorilla in here but hopefully see more animals on that one this year my next one is Mini Galaxy Girl. It's again another Heaven and Earth Designs chart. That's where I'm starting from. The artwork is by Molly Harrison. It's 256 stitches by 325 and I'm stitching this one two over one tenth stitch on 28 count. And this one is meant to be a gift for my daughter Maya um, when she graduates middle school. This is one that she picked out and I better get a move on with this one because she only has two and a half years of middle school left. So, but this one has a lot of colours and I think every single one of them are used in this first page. Or that's what it feels like anyway. So this one's pretty slow going. The first page is super confetti heavy. So yeah, lagging behind with this one. My last full coverage that I have lined up for this year so far is my only Gecko Rouge kit and it is Fables by Medusa Dollmaker and this is my starting point. Um, that's the first page. 
um, it is 232 by 350 stitches and I'm stitching this on the kit 28 count 2 over 1 tin. Oh no actually, this is 1 over 1 full cross, this one. I think it's the only 28 count that I'm doing 1 over 1 full cross. And it's all blues. I think it's every single DMC blue is in this chart. But yeah, I got that kit. And I've told myself, no more Gecko Rouge kits until I finish this one. So, and I have my eye on the Wednesday and the Folk Witch. So, I need to get going on that one. Up next is my non full coverages. There's quite a few of those. The first one is San Susie by Long Dog Samplers. And here is where I'm starting from. I have four pages left to go on this one. It is stitched on Sea Glass and um, 32 count Opal Lugana from B Stitch Me, and I'm using DMC 3812. I would love to finish this one soon. Um, I actually might pull this one out before New Year and maybe get a start on that page, the last one in this row. But yeah, this would be my first long dog sampler finish. So I really, really want to work on this one. And I'm feeling the stitchy bug now to work on it. Another sampler, but a bit different, is Feliz Navidad by Blackbird Designs. Uh, here's where I am. I don't actually have too much to go on this one. Um, this is on four to count linen in the colour Boardwalk by Colour and Cotton and I'm using a stash floss conversion um, just to make it a little bit brighter. I picked things that were similar but just yeah just a little bit up in the colour range and I don't think this one will take that long to finish just that bottom section and I am planning to put instead of Felice Navidad in the border at the bottom um, I'm going to put whatever Merry Christmas is in Scotch Gaelic in there. So that's that one. So hopefully this will be a finish not long after the new year. This next one's huge. Uh, it's Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. Again, another one that I would love to finish this year. And this is where I'm starting from. I have four blocks left to go. I've um, pulled the colours for doing this block up here, the Headless Horseman one. Um, this is on four to count Highland Heather by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And I'm stitching this in the DMC. But yeah, I would love to finish this one. But those blocks are, those blocks are chunky amounts of stitching. Um, I definitely don't want to leave the mermaid one to last because it's pretty full coverage. So <laughs> I definitely don't want to leave that one till to be like, maybe that'll be next after the headless horseman block. So I, but I definitely want to finish this one this year, ideally before Halloween. This next one was a new start um, this last month. It is called Sewing Cats by Soda Stitch. Oh, and here's where I'm starting from. I got that first little cat done. And I love Soda Stitch. They're just so cute. Um, this is on 32 count Wagana in the colour Mint Splash. It's by Zweigart. It's a printed fabric. I'm using the Call for DMC. Um, yeah, it's so cute. I finished the cake bears, um, little bears that are on the cake sack, and it's so cute. I love these little sacks, and I've wanted to stitch this one for forever. So I thought, why not? It's making it into my top 23. My next project is Heavy Going Grizzly. Um, it's a kit that I got. Um, I started this from Mania in 2021. I have page one of four done. Um, that's where I am. I swapped out the kit fabric for a 32 count white blue Ghana. I don't have much a margin at the top, but I'm thinking of framing it right up to the edge of the stitching anyway. Um, but I am using the kit floss. My problem with this one is I'm 
the kit was missing the back stitch instructions. So I've had to find a picture online and just zoom in um, and just try and work it out. So yeah, <laughs> that's what my problem with this one. I think that's why I haven't felt motivated to bring it up, but that's where that one's at. So I would love to finish that one. I think I'd like to finish all of them. That's why they're in my 23. The next one is also a Mania start. Um, I can't remember which year. I think this year. It was the start this year. Yeah, it's Koalas. It's by Country Threads. And that's where I'm starting from. Um, this is on 32 Count Earth Lugana by the Stitch Me. Um, and I'm actually using the charted anchor um, colours that are in this. So that's where he is. The next project I started on World Cross Stitch Day this year and it's Quaker Turtle by Ori TM. That's where I'm starting from. Um, this is on Ford Camp Verdal in the colour Sea Glass again from Be Stitch Me and I'm using the Gloriana Blue Hawaii and it's one over two. So that's just the, the turtle head. Again this was another start in December, um, at the end of November, the beginning of December and it is called Beachcomber. It's by Lindy Stitches. And this is where I'm starting from. Uh, this one um, was the exclusive chart for the Pacific Northwest retreat, which I didn't go to. But if you want this chart, you just contact Acorns and Threads and they will invoice you and post it right out to you. I also got the uh, blue flower chart as well that was for the retreat. But this one's super cute. I can't, now that I've like tackled that big box in the middle, um, I can't wait to get to all the animals and just work on those and knock them out one by one. And this is on the called for 32 count raw natural linen. And the only over dyes are the color in the box and the dinky dye that's used for the whale. So that's that one. This next one I started in November and I actually forgot to include it in my last swatch because I'd already put it away. It's called Wise Owl. It's a regular dimensions kit, not a gold. And that is where I'm starting from. Um, I started in the middle and I'm trying to go down to the bottom right hand corner and then up through the owl's body. I'm using the kit fabric, which is a 14 count white Ada. And I think I've put in about 2,000 stitches already. And I'm using this one for Jessie Marie's I Will Always Love You Sal. So that was why I picked that one to start. The next one is my only fancy lady in my lineup and it is Raven Queen by Mirabilia. And that is where I'm starting from. I actually thought I had way more of her dress done and I was a little bit disappointed when I pulled this one out of its bag. I somehow thought I'd stitched more of her dress. Unfortunately not. But um, this is on 28 Count Joblin in the colour Bridget by Hand Eyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And I'm stitching it as charted. But I love this fabric. It looks like a moody, stormy sky. But yeah, hopefully I'll get more of that dress stitched. Uh, the next one is actually my oldest whip in this entire lineup, and it is Yin Yang um, by Stitchrovia Emma Congdon. Um, I had the magazine pattern of this. It's called Strike a Balance. Um, here's where I am. It's yeah, the magazine's in the is a color chart. So I actually just bought the PDF from Stitchrovia's website uh, on Etsy, which is going to be a lot easier to work from. So that's where I'm starting from. And this is on an 18 count white Ada. And I really want to finish this one. Um, I've been watching a lot of people do hoop finishes 
and I think this would be perfect for that so I just need to get moving on this one it'll be perfect for some of the stitchy challenges just big big blocks of colour and so just CMC and things like this chart which I bought from Etsy or other things that I show you I will try and link the details in the description box below the next one is a uh, stitch long and it's the I can't show you a cover picture because it's a mystery um, but it's the Halloween wreath stitch along by Frosty Pumpkin Stitchery um, this is part one and two I haven't actually stitched the December block yet so I need to get on that because I don't want to be too far behind or behind at all but I'm sure everybody tells them that themselves that for stitch alongs because once once you're behind it's kind of game over but I'm stitching this on the call for 28 count sterling by picture this plus I actually ordered this directly from frosty pumpkin stitchery and just using the DMC that's charted so part one and two I need to get part three done we get the the bow that's in here or at least half of it so that's that's also on my to-do list sooner than later My second last project is the Hope Sampler. It's by Moira Blackburn. And here is where I'm starting from. I actually have quite a bit of this one done. Um, this is on 40 Count Whimsical Winter by Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, I changed out the writing colour. I think I used it in the border too. Um, to a Gloriana um, Sumatra. Everything else is DMC. I wanted to keep it more green. Um, I think the text was brown and I wanted to keep the overall tone of the sampler more green which is quite unusual. Um, I absolutely love that. I actually think I saw Jessie Marie does stuff. She used a green thread for hers off in the finish of this so kind of copied that but I love it. Um, this will definitely be a finish this year. So that's that one. My last project, and it's actually the only one that's on a Q-snap self because I was working on it this morning and probably will work on it some more today. It is the Winter Wonderland Stocking um, by Stony Creek. And I just finished, I filled in the deer's body this morning. Um, this is in the Christmas in the Woods booklet number 480 and it's on the call for 28 count mushroom Lugana and I'm just using the call for DMC and I started this one this month. I want to, I have to, well I'm going to try and finish this one by I think it's March and um, semi-sane stitchers um, have a, like a winter to start and finish challenge so you kind of have to finish this one by March. So this one will see very steady progress and try and finish it. And this is actually for Maya. She picked this one out. She didn't like the dimension stocking that I'd started for her now that she's 11. So this is what she picked out. So finish it for this year. Yeah. So that's my final project. Um, in terms of trying to tackle these projects, I personally am doing a one and done stitch along. Um, I'll use that hashtag, anybody feel free to use it, where I'm having one rep representative from each designer. Um, I tend to pick the same designers over and over and then my other whips get neglected. So I have one representative from each designer throughout the year, unless I get a whip go line and then I can bring in a second project from that designer. So that gives me the motivation to work on those projects that I have on my whip go board and get progress on my full coverages while also being motivated to get everything else done. So that's what I have. Um, I'd like to whip down, says everybody, um, and clear some of these other boxes that are storing the whips that didn't make it into the top 23, um, but I will have new starts. That's just, just the way it's gonna be. But thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this whip raid. I hope you'll come back and see progress on these projects. I should be back around the end of January. Um, but yeah, go enjoy all the whip raids and all the goodness in the Stitch community at this time. And I will see you in January. Bye.